Are you thinking about moving or retiring from a Western country? If the answer is yes, then we have a perfect place for you. Malaysia, a country that we have totally fallen in love with. This underrated country has recently released the latest version of their very popular residency program. The Malaysia My Second Home Residency Program. We've just gone through it and we feel it is so good that it won't last for very long. In this video, we are going to discuss why you will love Malaysia, what are the requirements that you need to fulfill and what you will get in return out of it. We have done countless hours of research and distilled it all down into one video, which will hopefully answer all your questions. But if you do have more questions, do let us know in the comment section. So let's get started. For those who don't know us, we are Nabil and Zanesta. And last year, we packed up our whole lives in Australia and headed for an adult gap year with our toddler. Our goal, very simple, to travel, focus on creating a freedom-based business and potentially find a new home. Honestly, we can talk about many reasons why you would want to relocate to Malaysia, but we really quickly want to get into the residency program. So we're going to give you our top three reasons why. Reason number one is value for money. Now, if you're coming from a Western country, your savings and your income will go a long way, whether it's accommodation, your child's education, healthcare, or anything else. And guess what? Malaysia is way more advanced than you might think. Amazing infrastructure, good systems, and really good rule of law. And all of this, you could get to 30 to 40% cheaper than a Western country like USA, Australia, Canada, UK, etc. Because that's exactly what we spend when we live there really put a lot of emphasis on family values and in terms of option for children like you've got great international schools preschools and a lot of activities for them not only is it perfect for family the English proficiency is so high that it is such a smooth transition from a Western country into a country like Malaysia Reason number three, Malaysia is diverse. With local Malays, Indians, and Chinese living in harmony, you can expect a wide variety of history and culture, and with that comes food. Oh my God, Malaysian food is just amazing. You will not run out of options. And the best thing is that it's very affordable. Okay, so let's get started into the visa information. The MM2H program has been around since 2002 and it's gone through many changes with this recent one being in March 2024. The purpose behind this program is to inject foreign currency into the country through investments in property, fixed deposits, opening of businesses, as well as your overall living costs when you relocate. From what we understand, it's taking around 30 to 60 days to process this application at the moment. This program is so attractive. So what do you get in return? Number one, you get to stay in Malaysia for a longer period of time. This time around, they've broken it up into three categories. And each of these categories have different requirements and different durations that you can stay in Malaysia for. The first one is the silver category, where you can stay in Malaysia for five years and it is renewable. The second tier is the gold tier, where you can stay in Malaysia for 15 years and that's also renewable. And the last one is the platinum, which gives you direct access to a Malaysian permanent residency. For example, if I'm the primary applicant, then who can stay with me? First of all, my spouse can stay. If I have children who are unmarried and who is under the age of 35, they can stay along with me. My parents over the age of 65, they can also stay with me. Also, my in-laws can stay with me. This is a very nice touch that they have considered all the family values. The one person who would not be included is my siblings, unfortunately. Property prices in Malaysia, just like any other sectors of Malaysia, is still value for money, especially when you compare it to neighboring cities like Bangkok or Manila. Can you start a business in Malaysia? And the answer is yes. And you will be surprised to know that Malaysia is ranked 12th in the world in the ease of doing business. You can also possibly sponsor others for job purposes in your business. And the last point is you would have the ability to open a bank account here in Malaysia, which makes life much more easier because then you can use their existing QR code system, which you would not be able to use if you are just an international traveler. 
So there are a couple of things you need to be aware of that you will not be able to do as part of this residency program. Point number one is that you will not be able to work in a Malaysian company. There's a separate pathway for that. So we're not covering that in this video. And number two is that you will not be able to get other facilities that citizens get, such as ability to vote, claim unemployment benefits, etc. Okay, now let's come to what are the requirements to avail this visa. There is a minimum duration that you have to stay, which is 60 days per year. Previously, it was 90 days per year. So, which is quite good because they don't really force you to stay. It's just a minimum requirement that you have to fulfill to continue with this visa. The second requirement is the minimum age, which is 30 years of age, which means that now young millennials have the opportunity to apply too. So now let's get into the financials because this is where things get interesting. You have to show a minimum of 40,000 ringgit as foreign income and you have to show three months worth of history. Now this is one of the biggest changes in this program because previously it used to be 10,000 ringgit. So that's been a massive jump. They've also made an adjustment that you can actually show your entire household income at, towards that 40,000 ringgits, which makes it much easier to meet that requirement. Now some of you might be wondering, okay, previously you said you can't work in a Malaysian company. So how am I to show income? Here's the thing you've got to understand is that they're trying to inject foreign currency into the economy. So they're really targeting uh, high net worth individuals who want to retire to Malaysia or start a business or they have remote work like they're a digital nomad and things like that. So unfortunately, if you're somebody who wants to work in Malaysia in a local Malaysian company, there's a separate pathway for you. This particular visa will probably not be applicable. Okay, lastly, they want you to put a fixed deposit for a certain period of time in a Malaysian bank. So this will again depend on the tier that you're in for. So if you apply for a silver tier, which is for the five years, you have to put in 500,000 Malaysian ringgit into a Malaysian bank. If you're going for the gold, which is for 15 years, you've got to put in 2 million Malaysian ringgits. And if you're going for platinum, you've got to put in 5 million Malaysian ringgits. But here's the amazing thing. You can get 50% of that money back after one year. However, there have some strings attached to it. You're using it for any of these following requirements. Children's education, medical expenses, buying a property or domestic tourism. Because it's got strings attached to it, buying a property at that time in Malaysia with the reduced requirements of minimum purchase could be a very lucrative option. Because even as a foreigner, you can get mortgages. And if you do your proper research and due diligence, you might be able to get some equity out of it at the end of your visa. Here's the thing. What happens to the other 50% for the the remainder of my visa that money has to stay with the bank but you will be actually earning interest on it if that's what you're after So there you have it, all the points in regards to the requirement for this particular visa. I hope you found this video very informative. In addition to that, please do your due diligence because rules and regulations keep on changing in this fast-paced environment. So you got three tiers in this visa. For us, we felt that the silver tier, which is for five years, is a lot more attractive and manageable. But you know, it really depends on your personal circumstances, yeah. right? But one thing we can all agree to is that the world is opening up like never before. There are more options for people and people mindsets are changing around with the West that there are other options in terms of quality of life and cost of living. So while doing this whole gap year are looking for maybe an alternative home other than Sydney, Australia, we found Malaysia to be quite attractive. Now we don't know whether we're going to move there or not, but it is a very good contender and we are going to keep on looking to see if there are other alternatives. We've done a free comprehensive guide. We'll link it in the description for you. If this is how you can create your own adult gap year if that's something that you're interested in. So for more information and more videos like this in the future do not forget to subscribe our channel so that you get notified when something like this pops up next time hope you found value in this video and we'll see you in the next one take care bye bye